Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is iTalk. You're lying! Here and in today's video, we have a brand new video. Man, I am still in love with Fortnite OG. This is the most fun I've had with Fortnite. Please keep it in the game. We're gonna move on to the topic today though. That is not the topic for today. That was yesterday's topic. But anyway, we're gonna talk about something that's rather interesting to me, uh, Samsung. Well, the UK version of Samsung. They tweeted this out. They said, bring back the best skin at Epic Games with a picture of Galaxy. It wasn't the first exclusive. It was the first phone exclusive that we ever had. Chapter one, season five. I remember the phone method, the Best Buy method. You went to Best Buy to try to get a few games in on the phones there. You had to download Fortnite to get the skin and all that. Really good time in Fortnite. I remember going to my Best Buy trying to get it and I didn't. And then I ended up just buying the phone for it. This is a very popular skin. Galaxy is a fantastic skin in my personal opinion. I think that the set though is just a bit better i think the pickaxe the glider and the back bling are kind of better than the skin in general but then again they updated the skin to kind of ruin it a little bit i think it has something to do with the uh, texture changes and the graphic changes but the skin doesn't look as good as it did back in the day same with like red nose raider they ruined that skin too with its pants weirdly enough though they tweeted this out and now people are thinking oh they're gonna bring this out now i i genuinely do not think they're gonna do that now as someone that lost their account that had galaxy skin if i still had my original account would i I'd be upset if they brought the skin out uh yeah i would because i paid a thousand dollars for a phone just for them to drop it in the item shop for 15 dollars. that seems kind of like why would you do that but i think we're at the point in fortnite where i don't think many people would care if they brought this in the item shop i'm curious to know if people would actually be upset if this set came into the item shop i would say yeah i think people would be pretty upset about it because you're buying a phone for this skin, or maybe you got it for free from a friend, who knows. You paid money for this thing or not. It's exclusive. It was said to be exclusive back in the day. Why would they change the mind on it now? They could give OG owners an edit style or something to show that they got it through the phone, through the legit means, whatever have you. They could very well do that. They did that with the Reflex skin, although they still think that Reflex is an exclusive skin for some reason. It's not. Uh, but they did that with the Stealth Reflex skin. They made that an original version of the skin if you owned the original Reflex skin through the original means and you didn't buy it from the item shop. It could be something like that because I could see them doing the Galaxy skin but doing like different sort of Galaxy colors. I've seen games do this before with different Galaxy color schemes. They very well could do that and I think that'd actually be pretty fun if they did that because at that point, if I was in my old account again and I had the Galaxy skin, I wouldn't really be upset about it if I was offered an exclusive style or an exclusive version of the skin to show that I got the phone. I like exclusivity in Fortnite in terms of exclusive skins like consoles and phone exclusives. Not so much the item shop exclusives because they're just kind of like... You're just pressuring people to buy a skin right away when the phone exclusives you had months to get. Uh, the console skins, some of them you can even obtain to this day so it doesn't feel as bad. I don't know. I think to me, I think it'd be interesting if they were to bring out the Galaxy skin in the item shop, but they will never do that. If they do that, that will open up a whole can of worms and that'll open up the fact that Fortnite can bring out any skin they want, no matter the exclusivity of it no matter where it came from, any of that. If they were to bring out the Galaxy skin, the problem with that is that then everyone's gonna ask for every other exclusive skin to be released, which I don't think would be a good idea. Even if you offered exclusive versions of said skins, we already have the exclusive version of the skins, right? We already have Galaxy, we already have the Neo Versa, we already have like all these other exclusives, Iconic, stuff like that, we already have those skins, so why should we get another one because you wanna bring out the originals? I'd like to know your thoughts on this, though. If you are an owner of the Galaxy skin, would you be upset at this point in time from like four years past? Would you be upset if Galaxy came into the item shop? I would be miffed about it. I'd be like, you know, I paid money for this thing. It's exclusive. If the Galaxy skin was going to come to the shop, I would not have bought the phone. Now, it may have taken four years for them to drop the Galaxy skin in the shop, but honestly, at that point, if I knew that there was a chance for it to come to the shop, I probably wouldn't have bought the phone. And that's why exclusivity in Fortnite is such a weird thing, is that unless they tell you outright it's exclusive and it's not coming to the shop, then people will buy the product. 
people will not buy the product if you say this is coming into the shop at a later date like they did with Baranga Boogie. I had no reason to buy the thing that came with that emote because I knew, well, hurdy dur, it's going to be in the item shop. Why would I buy the product that they're selling it with, right? Why would I do that? So that's what I'm kind of thinking with this. Uh, people wouldn't have bought the phones as often or as much. If people knew that that skin would not be exclusive four years from now, I don't think the sales on the skin would be as high or the phone sales rather would be that high. But now that I'm thinking about it, four years is a while. Again, do you think that people necessarily care about this coming back if it did? Do you think that the owners of Galaxy would be upset about this? I I don't know. I lost my account. I don't really have that sort of mindset anymore. Like if now I'm kind of thinking like swing it over my way because I don't have the skin anymore. But as someone that did own the skin, I would be like, I would feel, I don't even think the word betrayed would be the correct word, but it would be weird that you would bring out something that was basically promised to be an exclusive. They're very clear on what is exclusive and what isn't sometimes i think it'd be cool kind of sort of i think it'd be weird if they brought it out i don't i don't know how i feel about it if they were to bring it out but do i think they will no i i don't think they're gonna bring it out because if they did that they'd have to bring out iconic they'd have to bring out every other exclusive under the sun and i don't think that they they're gonna want to do that it's just gonna make it so if they ever drop another exclusive again which by the way we haven't had one in a while. It would be lame if they were to do that and then no one would buy anything that was tied to Fortnite anymore because they know, well, it can come back. So why would I blow $500 on a new console for a skin that I know will come into the item shop sometime? You see what I mean? It's just not how business works. So we'll have to wait and see. That's it for the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know the like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Use code ITALK in the Fortnite item shop if you'd like to support me and I will talk to you later today. Have a good one now. See ya.